phone went ping ping and it said I heard this D deviant voice from Stoke and I thought I fucking know that voice. So it rang me, collab is coming, I'm not gonna say no more than that. But a serious bench press collaboration is coming. Go off me and Dan as well. Yes. Man behind the camera. Um, how long's it been? When was that song me and you hit linked? Good Pure, couple of weeks. Gym. The Pure Gym video, yeah. No, no, was it, wasn't it Six Plates? Oh, yes, yes, Six Plates. So it's six been plate about bench. three and a half weeks. Mm, been a while. Um, obviously, I've been to Florida, LA, etc., etc., back since then. We're now at World's Gym, Warsaw. My first ever time here, by the way. I've heard good things. Um, I always see it on socials. Um, I know Will, Willie. Will you, will you show him? I hope I'm saying your name right, bro. I'm sorry if I'm not. My bad. But I know you train here. I know a couple of the big guys train here. I know Uzi trains here too. Um, meant to be a good gym. I'm here to hit a back day, so no pressing today. Sadly, guys, sad time to admit this. I've got a strain. I've got a pec strain. Fucking RIP, man. Jesus Christ. Yeah, listen, do not bench four times in one week. It doesn't matter who you are, what you are, how bad you think you are, okay? You cannot bench that much and we, and, and, and we you know, withstand and keep doing it. Sooner or later, you're just going to fuck yourself up, and that's what I've done. Luckily, it's a very minor, I say minor, it's like a pretty rough strain, but it's not a tear, and I'm not in too much trouble. So, benefit being, I think, eight to nine days, and I'll press in some BPC, and I'm going to be okay. Um, and I'm taking it easy at the minute. I've done no pressing for the last kind of, when the last press? Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday. Wednesday, I know it's my last pressing day, it's now Monday. So, I'm going to go hit back now, that's the fuck. Cheers mate, thank you, you shit fucking car. Um, that's the focus now. Get some back in, get my back nice and thick, ready to get back to pressing. Um, and also, I have heard that if you don't like this video, a priest somewhere is going to touch a child. That's what I heard. So, yeah. you have to like this video right now. I think that is confirmed. It's true, yeah. no, it's, I genuinely, just, I saw it this morning. Um, something to do with the news warning and the heat and shit. By the way, let just, let's just fucking touch on that and it's fucking boiling up, bro. It's not cool. It's about 14 degrees and I've got titty sweat. So it's nice, it's like 26, is it? It's, like 26. it's on the way to 30, I feel like it's I'm fucking cooking. up, bro. And listen, if you're from the UK, yeah, then you already know we don't deal with this shit. And if you're from the US, you're like, oh, it's only 10, isn't it? Suck your mum. Yeah, genuinely suck your mum. You have no idea what it's like living in this fucking country when it's this warm. At least out there, you've got like acres of land where the air just regulates itself. Out here, it's just pure buildings and heat. So that's all it is. It's a concrete block, bro. So anyway, let's go hit back. Get juicy and also shout out to uh, Applied Nutrition, Cold Baker 20 check out, save yourself 20% and also, I'm not going to lie, the hottest t-shirt in the game, Jeez. you know what I mean, the Jim Reaper Silverback collab, uh, they really due, know. due to be released shortly, a uh, couple weeks, as and when it's released, you'll know, check my Instagram, Big Boy Bake, and you'll know, uh, but yeah, soon come, ready for you guys to cop. Favourite flavour, man. What flavour is that? Blue Lagoon, it is actually fine, you know, it's ge genuinely. I know everyone's like always, oh, you're sponsored by them, so you're gonna say it. Like, nah, genuinely. Before I was ever sponsored by these, I drank all their shit, all of it. Literally their shit. Like, I would, I'd drink it, probably tastes good. But, Blue Lagoon, fire. Also, I know a lot of you have been watching this for the last probably 90 seconds to two minutes, and you keep going, what the fuck has he done to his eye, and why is he not talking about it? Ooh. It's pretty fucked. Uh, I was dogging your mum, now I'm joking. So, I was doing incline bench on Wednesday, insert clip here. I hit 220 kilo for 11. Made the bar look like a noodle, to be fair. I was fucking giving it some. Uh, and when I got up, uh, I don't know, apparently the passion of Christ was coming out my fucking eyeball. Uh, yeah, I, got, I caused a hemorrhage in my eye. Um, luckily, it's nothing bad. It hasn't, it hasn't harmed my vision, but I have got a very dry eye at the minute. It's very, like, blurry at times. Um, Luckily, it's, it's supposed to be harmless and it'll go away over time. But yeah, it just shows how hard I was going, baby, you know what I mean? So, I'm gonna be honest, guys, if, you, if you're not hemorrhaging your eye when you're training, are you actually training? Like, are you really even training? Like, I sent my eyeball to the graveyard. What did you guys do this week? I'm not gonna lie. When I first did it, I was like, yo, this is, this is bad. And then I kept looking and I was like, I kinda like it. I feel like a shotgun. gun, you know what I mean? I think I kinda like the way I'm, I look badass. I just burped, sorry. It tastes like Blue Lagoon. Yum. Right, where to start? It's quite a big gym. It's one of them gyms where it's quite big, but it's cramped as fuck. Oh, it's just machine on machine, do you know what I mean? But, there's a nice looking T-bar row there that I think I'm gonna fuck with. Now, hammer strength row to my left, doing that row one, or isolate row, whatever the fuck you wanna call it. 
So I'll mess with that. There's a nice like, forward lap pull down there. Plate loaded that I think I'm going to pop with. Um, and there's a nice cable lap pull down. I think that's the plan. I think we're going to do T-bar roll, hammer strength throw, machine lap pull, a plate loaded lap pull down and a cable lap pull down. Probably finish on some rear delt face pulls and we're done. That's the day's running order. Step one, always remember to warm up. Okay. Done. Let's go. You warm? Yeah, warm now. Done. Just yeah. like that. See? Now, I've never done a T-bar roll like this. Well, I say like this. I'm assuming this is custom to World's Gym. I've never seen this type. Especially with like a leg pad there. Like a knee pad. Just his knee. It looks, looks cool. Looks, looks cool. Looks fun. I did text Dan today before we left. Because I'm looking for a gym with a good seal row. So I've never been someone that still rose until I was in America and now I'm like, yo, this is fucking fun. And it's really good carryover for bench press. So I'm looking for somewhere with a good seal row bench. Anywhere local to the, but you know, maybe not Birmingham, but anywhere local to West Brom, Tipton, Dudley, those areas, Bilston. If you know any gyms with a good seal row, hit me up and let me know and I may come through. Um, and also, I haven't told you like yet, but we are planning a monstrous bench press event in the UK, me, Julius Maddox, TD Smash, Daniel Royhoff, potentially CT Flesher, Joseph Tumbarello, you name it. Might even get Larry Wells out here, you never know. Can't say too much, but let's just say, if there's any gyms in the area, to Birmingham, Central UK, Midlands, Telford, Tamworth, you name it, those kind of areas, they've got a big gym, big gym floor, a powerlifting bench at minimum, a comp bench, and a decent floor space definitely and you uh you want to get talking about where we can host this event let me know because i have got a i've had a few gyms interested it's just about us finding the right one with the right space at the minute um and i don't think the ones that have hit me up so far have got a big enough gym capacity this is a pretty big gym it could probably work in here if we got rid of 90 percent of the machines there's no floor space <laughs> do you know what i mean so we need we need floor space if you've got floor space where you can move your benches move your dumbbell rack and make more then by all means hit me up in dms ig let me know um oh all right let's go need to do this no more talking i know what's talking i'm sorry i'm going to do a set now just want to look at the gat as i get on there okay more than if I'm pulling too close I might go a bit higher I might move that down and put myself a bit you know I know what I'm trying to say I'm sure you know what I mean whatever if you don't my fault so all right gonna call all you out now anyone that's ever benched every year or deadlifted every year you're all fucking liars mate look at this 20 kilo but also 45 pounds is it 20 kilo 44 pounds yep 20.4 kilo is 45 pounds. If you've been measuring your lifts in pounds, you've been lying. You've been fucking lying. So I want you all, if you look, if you did lifting five plates, I'm sorry, you better take 10 pounds off that total right now. Can't be both. Which one is he? Should we, I mean, obviously because it's me, we're gonna go with the 45 pounds, because obviously, you know what I mean? They're 45 pounds in there to me. Yeah, but to I'm you guys, sorry, they're not. This is definitely 20 kilo, you're all lying. Yeah, it's heavy for me, because I'm, I'm built different. <laughs> I can't even take myself seriously, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a nice view. Super compact though. I can imagine like, without that airflow that I can feel here, it would get fucking sauna like it. Look at the roof. Door open there. It's like design, it's yeah. Open. I think having that airflow, plus these fans on the walls and that fan at the front, it's not too bad. I thought I'd be dying in here. I feel like I made a good choice now. Right, three plates. Let me roll the rest of these up, because this is where big boy right there, do you know what I mean? Wow. That's straight out then. Ouch. Yeah. It's getting heavy already. 
I think it's um, possibly to do with a leverage point in the sense of, so I think with this machine actually, with this machine, I like it's probably a bit harder because the weight is much more in front of the whole point. So you're actually closer to the leverage point, meaning that the force and the power, it requires more. The closer you get to there, the more power you've got to generate to be able to move that. That's why actually, So, I've moved it forward a bit now. Should change the angle. I probably should make it a little easier. I mean harder. It's not gonna slip out, is it? I mean harder. Way, hard, way harder. Not gonna slip out. Oh. She asked me that last time. I said, we'll have to wait and see. If she's got a gooey Louie, then yeah. If she's got a gooey Louie, then yeah. It's There's a reason I call me Big Boy Bake. It's because of my feet. Nothing to do with my knob. <laughs> Pretty big feet. Yo. Obviously got the, the red on black, the, the red on black, the red on black. Just drip different. You do got the red eye. And the red eye. <laughs> it's like, I just drip different, that's what it is. Oh, YouTube. Well, I'm out of breath from moving the handle. Guys, stay skinny. All right, listen to me. Stay skinny. Eddie Hall rang me. The phone went bing, bing. I said, I heard this de deviant voice from Stoke. And I thought, I fucking know that voice. So Eddie all rang me, collab is coming, I'm not going to say no more than that, but a serious bench press collaboration is coming. It's quite strong in Eddie Hall. Yeah, I mean, he's alright. I think, he's I think he won like, you know, Stoke's strongest in yeah, 2004 or something, something like that. Like that. Something like that. I mean, hopefully he can keep up. Yeah. We'll see, if he can't, he can't, do you know what I mean? But he'll be alright. I'll coach him. I just drip some. Can't waste it. Right. Huh. I feel like I'm going to queef at my vagina, bro. It's hot in here. Remember how I just said it wasn't hot in here? It took one set and now I'm hot. Yo, can I have a vote on this in the comments, please? Can I just have some... This is a bit of interactivity for the section, yeah? On a scale of one to fucked, how bad is my airline at the minute? I've seen a lot worse. I've seen a lot worse. Why is the right side going back more than the left, though, bro? Were people more nasty to me in this era all my life or something? And this side just got more upset like. Am I just receding wrong? Come on, man. You've got a bit of life left in that. I mean, yeah, maybe. Bro, I keep seeing my eye in the mirror. Do you know what's fucked up? When you look at me and you speak to me, it's like you don't know where my eye is anymore sometimes. My missus yeah. keeps saying it. She's like, what's going on with your fucking eye? And I'm like, oh, sorry. I, I don't know what you want me to do, do you know what I mean? It's the look. I'm a real fucking samurai. Don't send it. Don't tell the money. Very nice. Okay. Easier, harder. Damn. Don't tell him it was fucking hard that was. That was easier though. Yeah? Yeah, it's alright bro. Yeah, another, another, another couple of plates? Yeah. What was that camera's doing? Yeah, oh. Fuck. Something's going on. Fucking hell, that is. Another thing, take all the joke shit aside that I say, yeah? The one thing I'm noticing. That is so important, which I've always known was important, but I just haven't focused it enough. Hydration, bro. It's fucking essential, man. If I don't hydrate properly for one, two days, my lifting the day after and the day after or on the day of just suffers. It just suffers. I tire quicker. My muscles get tighter faster. I'm not as strong. Do you know what I mean? Everything just doesn't operate the way it should. And it's all for a lack of hydration. So. When it's this fucking warm, get your water in, man. Get your electrolytes in, body fuel, bodynutrition.uk. The Love Heart flavor, the drumstick flavor are insane, bro. Insane. And it's full of electrolytes, full of goodies, do you know what I mean? The perfect hydration drink. So get yourself on there, get it ordered, bacon 20, you know what I mean? Woo, should we go up? You all right? Yeah, sure. Just to clarify, before anyone says, oh, but that plank's smaller. It's a 20, okay, look. Look at the mirror. 20 fucking kilo, okay? Fuck off. It does say 44 pounds though. 
Yeah. Whatever. We're allowed to pound, I guess. I'm a. Do you want a water? I'm a bottle of water. I'll have a water, yeah. No water. Hydration is the key, baby. I've only got five. Three for me, two for you, innit? I just thought it's going to be hot in here, but. It's better. Oh man. That's some high quality H2O. Mr. Olympia 2024. Think I pooed. 2024, what do you mean? 20, it's sorry. in November. <laughs> I got this, no problem. Yeah, alright. What do you mean? Do you think anyone looks better than this right now? Leave a name in the comments today, yeah? there's no one. You could balance at least 14 Latina muscle mommies on these bad boys. You know what I mean? That looks fucking heavy, bro. That looks heavy. It's heavy. The main issue I'll show you now is this. Watch. See that? It spins. So as I'm gripping it, I'm pulling it up, it's spinning it, my hands. I'm about to re-grip every time. This is my least favourite. And I suppose it's the same for like a lot of big, big dudes like me. It is with a T-bar row, because it's chest supported, obviously your mass is resting on your chest. And then additionally, you're pulling with force through your chest into your back to bring a weight towards you. So it's like you're doubling down on that force. So trying to get the oxygen in properly. Okay, oh, now that's what like a lot of like bodybuilders that are in good nick. They might not be mentioning five, six pace, but they'll see by row fucking eight or nine, no problem. Yeah. Big Daz, bro. Big sexy Dazzy D one. I'm telling you, he, he, like, that guy, I can tell, like, I haven't known Daz long yet. He's such a clean hearted human, like, if I could recommend to you, like, to ever go and check someone out, go and check out Daz at Dazzy underscore D1 on Instagram. Guys, so clean hearted, so pure, so genuine. Would do anything for anyone, and he works so hard, bro, and he is in. The shape he's in right now. Gears could step on stage tomorrow and take any comp. Any regional comp, no problem. I think he's 100% ready for that pro car, bro. He looks incredible, uh, and he's such a good guy. And he supports the shit out of me. He's just a good, clean-hearted human. So please, go check out Daz, man, because if you think I'm strong on movements like this, bro, Daz will take nine plates on a, on a, on a floor T-bar where you pick it up, and, and he'll do nine plates on one of them for a good eight reps with good form. I'm not talking about fucking jolting and using your whole body. This guy is... Strictly moving eight nine plates on a T bar, no problem. So, yeah, go check him out, man. Go support him. He might have a comp coming up soon. If you have Daz, I'm sorry that I told everyone, but you deserve all the support, bro. And you're gonna smash it anyway. Uh, is that another plate? Yeah, yeah, that's no, no, no sorry, hold on. Yeah, it's, this is another, this is a, number 20. This one's made of tungsten. Ah, so it's twice yeah, as heavy? Yeah. They made them for me. Huh? They knew I was coming, and they said, you want us to get the tungsten? Yeah, yeah, that? Yeah, and yeah. I said, makes sense, obviously, so. Here we are. Get the figure eights on, baby. Now, admittedly, I do normally use silverback straps. However, speak of the devil, I have lent them to Daz to keep for a bit because he's been doing a lot of heavy pulling and I want him to have the wraps because he didn't have any. So I'm currently using Mike's strength shop ones, figure eights, and they're not that good. I have no idea what I'm doing. Stay tuned, guys. I have no idea. I actually truly don't know what the fuck I'm doing yet. Uh, I think, I think, uh, ouch, Charlie. Right, I think that's right. What's the worst that can happen? Them tungsten plates are heavy, you know. <laughs> they are, man, they're very heavy, they are. Fair play to them. I'm probably going to do a burnout set on this now of around three plates. With the two sets of three plates, then we're going to move on to. I have been looking at the star trip over there. Bad boy. 
It's a weird looking thing, isn't it? It's a weird looking thing, and I've never done it. Why do I feel like I'm way too big for that machine? You've been too big for most machines, to be honest, man. Maybe. Let's Could be. It's a bit naff. Probably go straight into here. For those of you that are seeing this, it's Monday today. On Saturday, I was in Cardiff at um, Giants Live, Deadly World Championships. Got to watch Jamal, Jamal Brennan, Paul Lloyd, that was cool. Um, so good. I thought I'd get Jamal this pretty race too, man. The guy's a fucking animal. End of the day, he's a pure fucking genetic powerhouse. And I think, I think three years, I think Jamal could break the Deadly Four record. I really do. If you're watching this video when you were at the Deadly Four Championships, one, let me say thank you to the fucking, I don't know, 100 plus people that asked me for a picture. Insane. So many of you come up to me, like so many. It's, at one point, I went to get a drink. Jesus. <laughs> I turned around to walk out of the queue with my, with my drink. It was just like, it was like half the arena had left the event and come to stand by the bar. And everyone's just looking at me like this. I'm like, hello. <laughs> and everyone's just like, can I get a picture? I'm like, fucking hell, yeah, of course you can. I must have took pictures for, must have pictures for 45 minutes to an hour the other day. It was super cool, bro. I, I love it. Like, I actually love it. It's like, it's a, I don't know how to describe the experience. I like to use the word humbling, but I, I don't know. I think people don't understand what I mean by that. I just mean like it's such a, it brings you down to earth to think like, fuck man, like this many people enjoy my content, do you know what I mean? And this many people look like, you know, they know who I am and they fuck with me and it's just so cool. So yeah, if you were at Giant Side and you came up to me, thank you, man. You made my night, literally. Uh, and here's the next sign. Woo. It's fucking up, man. The key today, by the arm I'm done, is to drink more bottles of water than sets I've done. Mate, you know what's... Let me know in the comments here, answer this question, because I personally feel this way. When you were a kid, water was naff. Water was fucking naff. Who wants water? You know what I mean? When you was a kid. Where's the fucking coke? Where's the apple ale? Where, you know, you know the council man, the pop man brings the pop room. Where's the pop man? Where's the actual good bit of stuff to drink? And now I'm like, yo bro, give me water. I'm gushing out the flange, I'm just, I love it. I fucking love water, man. If you don't drink water, oh, come on, it's like, grow the fuck up, man. Grow the fuck up if you don't drink water. Genuinely, at your age. It's the most wonderful thing. Now I'm trying to be careful because obviously this happened because of pressure buildup from lifting. So I'm trying to be very careful how much pressure I'm outputting today. I don't want to end up fucking blinding myself. As you can tell, I fucking hate this movement because it is really hard to maintain a good oxygen intake just because I'm so fucking heavy. No one to buy for that other than myself. If you want to be one of the best pet dressers in the world, you've got to be fucking heavy, mate. Yeah, it is what it is. Whew. I have people message me like, bro, you got my dream physique. I want to look like you. I'm like, bro, I look like the Michelin man on steroids. The only reason I look the way I do right now is because my goal and that dream of mine is bigger than this. In two, three years time, bro, once I've done what I want to do with bench press, this is coming off. I am shredding the fuck down. And I'm focusing my health. It's paid off for me. This is where I'm at right now. But I've still got a lot of years left in this game to achieve what I've got to achieve. I've got a lot more abuse to do to my body. Is it all going to be worth it? Only time will tell. Oh. Oh. It is the best thing in the world. Then again, who am I kidding? I'm looking. So sexy. One thing I want you lot to tell me actually, tell me on the comments in this video. I know I've asked you for a lot of comments today, but please tell me if you prefer more of like this style where I talk to you a lot or whether you just want more focused training. I try to get a good balance of both. 
I also like to just give you information when I've got it and speak to you guys. And I like that because this is me, this is who I am, I like to talk, man. I don't know if you notice, but the reason I mention that is because I'm going to talk again. I haven't, I'm not wearing my belt. I might, I, I think some of you might know, I might have mentioned it already in the video. I've got a bit of an oblique strain or a tear at the moment. It's been like three and a half weeks and this bitch still feels new. I may need to go to a doctor or a hospital. But who's got time for that nowadays? You know what I mean? There's, it's gains o'clock, baby. Doctor can wait. It's just an oblique. What do you even use them for, Pirin? Coughing. Uh, what do you even use them for? Do you know what I mean? Uh -oh. Alrighty then. Let's go. Fucking done on that horrid, horrid movement. It's actually feels quite nice. It's warming out. I would, uh, I would definitely like to bench here. I think it'd be fun. Yo, it's got a cop bench. Have you just noticed? Next bench video, maybe here? Maybe. It's definitely getting heavy. Also, Let's touch on this. I'm sick of you fuckers in the comments. Saying, ugh, Baker's got an Android. One, Android is superior. Two, I have both. Okay, I have both. I use the 14 Pro Max for pictures and videos, and I use this for everything that's actually important in life, because this is shit. So, you can fuck off. Right there, I just the belts, red and black. It's red and black. I'll tell you what. Some people's grip is artificial. Mine's straight natural, bro. This grip is natural. Yo, I'm sorry. I've got to say this now. I look how many times I've walked back from this set. No one uses your belt up for the first time in like a few days. And you're thinking, <laughs> um, what's going on here? This cunt, bro. I feel like Santa. Look. Ho, ho, ho. Fucking hell. I feel like I'm wearing one of them corsets like a bird. Trying to suck in these hips, bro. Jesus fucking Christ. Fuck. Okay, that is fucking tight, that is sun. That's what the priest said. Oh. I'm having on this machine. See my hand, look. See how I'm reaching past that? Yeah. So when I'm extending, I'm touching the bottom straight away and it's, it's dropping the weight. So I'm unable to maintain the contraction all the way through because it's just stopping and it's putting me off the rhythm. I wonder it. Listen, I fucking do not like. I, I'm lying a lot today. I've been telling you all that I really like stuff and I hate it all. I know this machine's now declared hated. Hated. Yep. You don't like it no more. Don't like this machine no more, do we? Hate this machine then. Nah, listen, that was probably top set. That was heavy. Um, and my form, form went out the window there. I probably got two good reps out of six, so. Now I'll drop down and we'll just try and get a couple good sets in. Bro, that's so tight. That is so tight, man. When I did it up, I was like squeezing the toothpaste tube. I felt the sun come out of my arms. Yeah. Fucking Jesus Christ. Oh, 
hardest part of that set was doing my belt up. <laughs> it looks like I might have put a couple of pounds on in the old America. I mean, look, I'm not gonna lie, but the Chick-fil-A breakfast does not go in this. I was always like, who the fuck eats chicken for breakfast? You know what I mean? Like fried chicken. And then I did it and I was like, I do, I do now. Last set on this and then we're gonna do the single arm roll and then, yeah, you already know the plan. I don't know why I keep repeating myself. I've moved the belt down a bit. Yeah, it's a bit better down there. Now I've got the... Uh... There we go. Oh yeah, look at that. You know what we call that? Power belly. That's a power belly. Okay. Not bad. It's alright to be honest. I mean, uh, yeah, you know, not, not too shabby. God, fuck you, mate. We got a right mix of plates here, haven't we? Mental, actually, like, there's there's 11.3 pound plates. No, 11.3 kilo. Oh, 25 pounds. 25 pounds. Yeah. Then there's 10 kilo, which is 22 pounds. Then there's 45s, which are 20.4. There's 44s, which is 20. There's 35 pound plates, who's, who's which using is 15 that? kilo, I think. Come on. There's all sorts of a massive mix. I took a car boots off, plates. <laughs> no plates, them. Stack them up, eh? Better than not enough. That's exactly my point, Listen, bro. Should, that's niche, exactly. I'd rather have too many than too little. Fuck yeah. I'll tell you this much, though. Sweating my fucking tits off. Got a big fan there. Is that your biggest fan? Nah. Nah. Nah, my biggest fan. Do you know what? Shout out to. I don't know your name and I'm so sorry bro. Giant Slime on Saturday, I was walking to get a drink from the bar and some guy reached over to me from the fucking, from the stands and shouted me. Grown man, you know, he's like probably 35, 36 man. But I love that, it was proper nice for me because it was good to have someone like around my age or older than me show me that recognition. He was like, bro, I'll watch all your stuff, I love your stuff, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, do you know what? Fucking like, thank you so much, man. And he was like, I'm counting on you bro, like, I know you're gonna get that fucking bench record, I know you're gonna get 700 soon, blah blah blah. That's the kind of shit I love man, he was a fucking top guy, so. Shout out to you bro, I know you watch the YouTube as well, thank you man, thank you very much. He's from up north somewhere, I don't know where, it was too loud in there man, and fucking everyone was coming up to me, but shout out to him, fucking legend bro, legend. There are bars in here. It looks like that's a power bar. What I have just seen is... Well... Callum, I, sorry brother, you're uh... Who's got... Is it... Oh, we'll, yeah, we'll do 200 here. Yeah, I saw that. What's the biggest deadlift in here, 300? 300. So my bench is bigger than the biggest deadlift in here. Have you got a power bar in here? Yeah. I think we'll come back and bench here. Yeah. You've got to be a member to get on there. I'll be back. <laughs> Look, nothing changes. Anyone that's on that board, obviously, has fucking worked hard to get there. It's just, I am one of them fucking freaks that's obviously very strong. So, because of that, like, my warm up isn't even. My warm up, <laughs> no, he does. My warm up will, will top the board. You bring Mike to do the squat and the deadlift? Mike, can fucking listen, bro. Mike could come in and fucking easy set the squat and the deadlift on there. He's a different fucking beast, bro. We all know that. Shout out my man, Magda Dabon. Uh, and also shout out my boy Joe Labone and Lukey White, even though he obviously, uh, listen, if there's any, if there is, if there's any ladies that watch these YouTube videos, yeah, do me a favour, go to Instagram, search Luke.w, something along them lines, and Luke White, he's just a misunderstood kid, man, you know what I mean, I look, he's looking for love, um, he's not a bad looking lad, big ears look, but he's handsome, and you know, the right woman, he could make you very happy. So please, Luke, I'm trying to help you. Go and hit him up on Instagram, say, Baker sent me, and uh, show him some real love. All right, Luke. No, it's anything different, guys. Uh, I wonder what was wrong then. Feel a bit weird, did it? What have I told the lat on this side? Like, <laughs> what's going on there? Turns out, but wait, no. Nah. 
Nah. Someone nicked one of your plates. I don't know. Someone just took it off under our nose. Maybe. Nah, bro. I'm fucking deaf in the lead. I swear to God. Is it not? Is it not? Yeah, it's not. Fucking hell. 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 Fucking this is the same one as the family done the lately. Yeah. We've done 60 kilo on, so. Not today. This is a. Uh... Even if. Oh. Oh, I felt that. Careful. Just twisting out the plate then. I felt the pull down there. Three sets of four plate now. Um, just for some, some reps. And then we'll hit the. That pull down cable. Why easy. does that look so much faster? It's because on heavier sets, I always focus explosiveness. I think you might have heard me mention before in previous back day videos, the whole point of me being explosive on movements that are focused in this area is because it's the opposite to that. So I like to build explosiveness down and up. Um, if you watch my incline clap reps, people go, he's so powerful that he's pulling the weight down Stuff like this has a carryover. Anything back related where you're moving with power will have a direct carryover to a stronger bench press. So that's why I'm doing it. And if, you, uh, if you're watching this and you know your name's Ryan, is it Ryan Dewars or Pat K or PT? And you're going, hmm, that's not very optimal. Hmm, hmm. Well, sadly, your little dick isn't optimal for your missus, it's funny. And that's why she's cheating three times a week. So you can fuck off and stick to your shit. You know, when I speak like this to you guys, yeah, obviously I think, because this is how I am, you know what I mean? Look, like, you know this, this is just how I am. I talk to, this is as natural as I can be, like when I speak to you guys, I am just me, but sometimes I don't know if it does me more harm than good. Um, because I'm never gonna change that, I'll always be like this. Because I fuck, fuck that bro, I'm just me, you know what I mean? So it's like, did you, uh, some of you might have seen my upload on Instagram where I did like an LA dump, Started a dump and it started off with me recording late in the car and I was like, yo, you're like you're the intro to my video and he goes, oh sweet and he was so excited and I was like, yo, should we fuck now? And he's like, what the fuck? He's like, you recording? I was like, yeah. He's like, no wonder you don't get fucking monetized. But guess what? Your boy's monetized now. I've been invited to the YouTube program, that's right. That's it. So the Lambos can... are coming. Just wait, bro. I'm gonna be having parties with Mr. Beast and that like uh, he literally rang me last night, he says Oh, I watch all your TikToks. I was like, yeah, I know you do, bro. Like, it's just something like, do you know what I mean? So just you just carry on buying your shit cars and blowing up buildings and you know whatever. Do you know what? I was trying to think then of like YouTubers that I think could become monsters. Someone that could become a fucking animal with, with good training, like a strong, strong beast. Get in the comments. I think Brian Shaw would be good at being strong. Brian Shaw? Yeah, he's a pretty good YouTuber. He could probably be good at some stuff. Uh, Maybe. He's pretty good on the old, on not like, doing videos. I just wonder if he's got any strength at all. Maybe I should ask him for a collab. I'll take him on a bench day. Reckon he could hang? You know what? All jokes aside, I think, uh, I think maybe if it was a couple of years ago, three, four years ago, and he focused the movement, I think Brian Shaw could have easily benched 700 raw. No doubt. He's got the frame, he's got the build. Do you know what I mean? He has got that sheer dominant frame. I think Brian Shaw could have easily been 700 pounds raw just with a couple of years focus on it. Do you know what I mean? Uh, no, I'm sure, you know, shout out to Max as well. Max, uh, Max Searby, literally a couple of weeks ago, broke um, junior deadly floor record, 421 kilo. Um, and then additionally to that, when I benched six plates last week, and first time he doesn't focus bench press at all. Uh, he's only 22, benched six plates for two singles, and the second single was a lot cleaner. It was really fucking good, man. So, shout out to Max as well, fucking animal. Uh, there's some animals right now, bro. 
there is some animals, man. I think there is definitely some strong men in the world that could convert to, to the big three and take over, you know what I mean? However, you'd have to get through people like Jesus Olivares, who is... That's a tall order. That boy, that boy there done. He thick, boy. That boy, thick as foot. He is a fucking animal, bro. Like, he's, quite, he's quite strong, And it's he? not just that, he's not just strong, but if you look at Jesus, bro, his build and like his, his, his thickness. Because I'm, I, I, think, I think he reminds me of me a little, because I think that's one thing a lot of people say about me is how thick I am up top, I'm very dense. He is so dense and thick in his upper body. He's actually got definition in his lats and his back and he's in his delts. He's such a fucking beast, so it would be a tall order, bro, to beat him. But let's get a setting, because I'm talking your lot's ears off. I'm sure I'm pissing you all off. It's be a two hour long video. Mind for the comment. Do the fucking set, bro. Bad. You know what's funny with stuff like this? Look, on that way, what gave up there wasn't my back, it was my hands. I was losing the grip. I could have done more. Oh, my, my grip was going. I think, aside from, aside from benching, back is definitely my favourite movement. Because, I had to be straight, the, the satisfaction you get hitting a big bench, like a serious big bench. You know, when you're under six, seven plates, and you get that up, that under, that, that overwhelming fucking just rush of adrenaline is insane because you're under the weight and you're moving it off, yeah, and it's just cool as fuck. But pulling a lot of weight is super fucking fun. I mean, look, I'm never going to be the world's best deadlifter, I'm just not built for it. I'm never even going to be a top fucking 50 deadlifter in the world, but I could probably develop a pretty good deadlift. But I know that I'm best at what I'm best at, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna stick to bench. But I can see why people get obsessed with deadlifts. I, can, I get it, because I can't. I, I imagine that euphoric feeling of ripping that fucker off the floor with that bar bending and standing up and your eyes are popping out your fucking head. And you're like, yeah, and you fucking did it. I bet that feels incredible. I do that with, you know, five plates aside, I'm fucking doing that. <laughs> so, but you know, it must be nuts. I can't imagine like, you know, look, imagine that feeling of Eddie Orlads before he fucking passed out and hit the deck bleeding, but that rush, that euphoric feeling of, I have just done what no man has ever done, do you know what I mean? I mean, I know it sounds dumb, but I did 300 pounds on one fucking arm the other day. Now, I want to say, so Larry said it's definitely a world record, but I'm confident Leroy Walker has done it before. Now, this is where I'm going to call, let's call him out a little. Because I do like Leroy, but he likes to troll in my comments a lot. So, Leroy, you have done 300 pounds, but you did it on a duffalo bar. You did it on a bar that bends, so it fits around the chest. So it's easier to get the stability on, rather than a straight bar. And you use small plates. You use like 15 pound plates and 20 pound plates and stacked them up like that. Whereas I'm using full size 45s. So again, the stability is more of a challenge. It's bigger, harder stiff bar and I put up 300 pounds the other day in a, under a second it was a rapid rep so I'm gonna say I'm winning this one chief I think I'll do all that record it's mine because I think we both could say after watching that back I could have done 315 pretty comfortably I could have put another seven kilo on that no problem and push that up it was just all about finding that moment to release and I reckon by January I could put up 150 kilo on one arm. Now that, that's insanity, do you know what I mean? But, listen, Colin Bryce, Colin Bryce, anyone that's involved in Giant Slayer, Strongman, you name it, make it an event to get me out there. Let's do it in the next year, Giant Slayer. Put on a guest lift, yeah, for the crowd, and I will come out and I'll put up a clap rep at least 160 kilo, and I'll put up a one arm 
150 kilo incline press minimum. Make it happen. Get me an incline bench, a good one. Get me a power bar and let's do it. I'll come put on for the fans. I don't want no money. I just want to entertain people. Hit me up. Right, last set. Last set of this and then it's over to lap ball down on cables and then uh, we're, we're probably done. I'm not going to do rear delts today. Probably just because I'm feeling a bit fried. And that's get plugged, even though I'm doing front pulling, it is starting to change a little. So I'm just thinking, yeah, that, even that then felt weird. So we'll just stick to this and that ball down and we're fucking done. Done on that. Let's go fuck our lass up a little more and get the fuck out of here. You know what? I've just put that in there, that's in all confidence. Did I even know what I'm doing? <laughs> <laughs> what is it, 300 pounds? 300 pounds. I can do that on one arm, I on. But can you pull it? I'm burnt out, man. Fuck, you know. I mean, I could should be able to that for like 10 to 12, but I'm really fucking burnt out. But one must remember I'm only human and I'm also fucked. So fucked. We've got two sets left. Two sets. Yeah, we're going to do two sets this way, guys. And then we are getting the fuck out of here. I mean, look out there, just, just for context. It's that strong. It's pretty warm out there. That airplane is sweating. It's just stripping, bro. It's hot there. That was 30 the one. second break now. Last set, I want it done. I want to fucking get out of here. Well, um, you know what? We're not even going to get back to whatever. We will record the last set, and I'm not saying another fucking word to her outside, and I'm outroing this video because I have talked your lot's ears off. I'm sorry. I hope you enjoyed it though. I like, I feel like when we haven't connected for a while, I want to tell you all everything, you know what I mean? So, I like to speak. And if you like it, then thank you, and if you don't, well, fuck you. you know what I mean? <laughs> Let's go, folks. Fucking let's get out of here. Let's go. So, uh, we'll go back in. <laughs> Fucking hell. It's hot out. Fuck's sake. Unlock you stupid bastard. Welcome to the motor again, guys. The Mondeo. The motor of motors. The whip. Hey, look at the, look at the dent there. There's some bastards in front of the car. How you doing that? Do you know if I catch you? You guys are going to go, 
Oh my god. I'm gonna tell you now, I've just lent into that car, I've got the wide brace left. Yeah. I don't even know. You see, I think that we're gonna have to uh there we move. Go. Yeah, there we go. Let me open that to get some air in. Jesus. That car is fucking oh my god, it's I can feel it coming out. It's so hot. Right, listen. That was your boy. Your boy, Jim Reaper, here and there. What the fuck was that accent? I'm not sure. I don't know either. You know what? We'll outro this the best way I can think. True Gordon Ramsay style. Yeah? Yeah. Fuck me, hey. Eh? Big boy. Watch my fucking door. Yeah. Okay, fuck me. I'll make my. Anyway, hey, big girls. Right, listen. Fucking. World's gym, Warsaw, okay. Fuck me, great session, wow. Fuck me, I mean, wow. Amazing, okay. Back, fucked, okay. Raw, big boy, okay. Fuck me, I mean, wow. Make sure you like, fucking subscribe, okay. Big girl, yeah. Fucking season it, all right. Next time, see you next week. Big boy. <laughs>